that fat hat. Emma opened the window and looked outside. My, oh my! She said. It is a perfect day to go out to lunch with my best friend Lao Lao. Emma put on her coat. Then she put on her favorite hat, a very small hat. My, oh my! Emma said as she looked in the mirror. This is the perfect hat for going out to lunch. Everyone is wearing small hats these days. Emma patted her hat, tap tap, and hurried outside. She thought about the lunch as she walked to Lao Lao's house. It was a perfect day to have lunch at the Lapping Cat lunch room. Everyone goes to the Lapping Cat these days. My, oh my, Lao Lao and I can order the lap it up lunch. You get a plate of yams, bread, and jams. Papa steak and chocolate cake. Everyone orders the lapita lunch. Emma rang Lao Lao's doorbell. Lao Lao opened the door right away. I am all ready to go, she said. Shall we try the lapping cat lunch room? Emma did not answer Lao Lao. She just looked at her best friend. Finally, Lao Lao said, "I see you are looking at my new hat. I went shopping this morning. I bought two new hats. What do you think of this one?" Emma did not know what to say. She did not want to hurt Lao Lao's feelings. At last, she said, "Your hat is big and tall, and..." Very fat. That is why I love it," Lao Lao said. She stepped out of her house and shut the door behind her. "Come on, Emma," she said. But Emma just stood there. "You cannot wear that fat hat to the lapping cat. Everyone else is wearing small hats." Lao Lao tapped her foot. On the ground and said, "Posh, tosh, I wear what I like, and you should too." Lao Lao began to walk down the street. Emma hurried after her and called, "You can borrow one of my small hats." Lao Lao kept walking. "Posh, tosh," she said, "I feel just fine in my own hat." Emma called out again. But everyone will think that fat hat is silly. Lao Lao shook her head at Emma. Stop thinking about everyone else, she said. Think about plates of yams, bread and jams, pepper steak, and chocolate cake. Emma shook her head back at Lao Lao and said, "I cannot go into the lapping cat if you wear that fat hat." Lao Lao answered. Then we will not go. Lao Lao turned and began to march home. Lao Lao, Emma cried, "I am just trying to help." But Lao Lao kept marching. She did not even turn around to say "posh tosh." Emma started to walk home. Goodbye, Lao Lao, she whispered. Goodbye, best friend. Goodbye, lapid of lunch. As she walked, Emma heard something grumble. It was a stomach. I need food right away, she said. I will buy some food to eat at home. I will go to Sherman's food shop. How are you today, Sherman asked. Emma sighed and said, "Not so hot, but I am still very hungry." What do you have for lunch? Sherman answered. How about a blue cheese sandwich? Emma shook her head. No one eats blue cheese these days. Everyone eats yellow cheese. Sherman asked. How about this fine macaroni? Emma cried. 
but everyone eats spaghetti with tomato sauce. Sherman said, "I think you should try Marge's snack bar." Can I help you? Margie asked. Emma nodded. I need some lunch. Margie asked. How about egg salad on rye bread? Emma answered. But everyone eats it on whole wheat. Margie asked. A giant banana split? Emma cried. No, everyone gets pineapple milkshakes these days. Margie said. I think you should try Palmer's Cookie Corner. Hi, Emma. Palmer said, "You do not look so good today." Palmer's son, Little Willie, said, "You look terrible, Emma." Emma sighed, "I am starving." Palmer pointed to a plate of cookies. "How about chocolate chip cookie?" he asked. "Just out of the oven." Oh dear," said Emma. "That sounds so good, and I am so hungry. But everyone else eats macaroons. So what?" Little Willie asked. "Suppose everyone ate doorknobs and pillowcases? Would you? For a hungry kitty, you're pretty silly." Emma looked at the fresh cookies. She smelled them. She reached out and took a cookie. She took one tiny bite. Then she took a bigger bite. She chewed and thought, and chewed some more. Emma smiled. My, oh my! A starving cat does not need macaroons. Emma paid for her cookie and hurried back to Lao Lao's house. Just as she got there, Lao Lao walked. Out the door, Emma called, "Lao Lao, hello, where are you going?" Lao Lao said, "I am going to the lapping cat. I do not want to eat at home today." Oh, Lao Lao, Emma said, "I am so sorry about what I did. May I come with you?" Lao Lao was still a little angry. "I am wearing my new hat," she said. Emma answered, "Of course you are. If I can eat chocolate chip cookies instead of macaroons, you can wear that fat hat." Then Emma looked at the hat carefully. At last, she said, "My, oh my! The more I look at your hat, the more I like it. I almost wish I had a fat hat like that." Lao Lao said, "Just follow me." Lao Lao took a big hat box out of the closet. She lifted something out of the box. Emma shouted, "Look at that flat hat!" Lao Lao said, "Try it on." Emma was almost afraid to take the hat. She said, "Can I wear something like that flat hat?" Lao Lao answered, "Posh, tosh, of course you can." Emma put on the flat hat. She looked at the mirror. She turned this way and that way. My, oh my, it is beautiful, she said. It is delicious. It is yummy. It is good enough to eat. Lao Lao laughed. Posh, tosh, you can eat that hat if you like. But I'm going to get the lap it up lunch. Emma and Lao Lao set out for the lapping cat lunchroom. They sang as they walked along. Plates of yams, bread and jams, pepper steak and chocolate cake. Then Emma said, "Suppose it is too late to get the lapping up lunch?" Lao Lao answered, "Posh, posh. Then we will find something even better." Emma was surprised. "We will?" she asked. Really? Well, my oh my!